that's a very good point. I mean, um, whenever the question was, would I do something again with the same team? Um, and, and the answer is yes. So team members, maybe not. <laughs> the ones when we all live in a cramped space for a long time, you get annoyed by the smallest things. Um, but the team is everything. I mean, you know, it's like I said, it's very easy to stand here, but whenever you create a, a new environment or a new company or a, a new project, you know, it's having people you can trust and people you can talk to. And that was, you know, the biggest lesson for me. So we still contain a lot of people. Um, a lot of the people I work with on this project are still with me, uh, and we're planning future projects right now. So, yeah, teamwork is everything. Is there any more questions? It's hard to see you guys. So we're looking into it, there's someone running up there. Don't jump. It wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> it's like, I gotta get out of Okay, here. I have a question. Maybe it's not really related, but I want to ask you, do you think that the capitalism now has caused the war in Turkey? Do you think this is the economy now <laughs> is developing in the right way? Do I think the economy is developing in the right way? Um, hmm. <laughs> it depends which side of the coin you're looking at, right? It depends where you're sitting in the process. I think, as an environmentalist, I would say the fundamental mistake that we make is that we have this so-called indicator of economic prosperity called GDP. And GDP, really, in my mind, is a grossly deceptive position, right? Because what we've done is we don't factor in nature. So we don't take the true cost of clean air, clean water, trees, land, biodiversity. So GDP goes up if we cut down trees. GDP goes up if we pollute a river, right? And as we pollute the river and we cut down trees, we know we have health issues that costs the economy. So what we've done is we've made the economy the overriding you know, structure and made nature a subset, where we really should make nature the overriding entity, because everything we touch, taste, wear, do, every business you're involved in, involves nature. And some of you are going, well, I'm completely digital, that's a complete lie. But the cables, the fibers, the copper, that comes from the ground, that comes from nature. So I would say that we're all responsible. Buckminster Fuller said in 1963, we live on spaceship Earth. He said, we're not going to be able to survive on a spaceship, not for much longer. Unless we see our fate as common, it has to be everybody or nobody. We are one species on this planet who has control over everything else. So we, as a, as, a, as a point, have to try and say, how do we switch that system? So for me, the economy is, is going down the wrong path because it's unsustainable. There is no such thing as growth on growth on growth within uh, nature. It's cyclical. So we have to think about how do we reward businesses with triple bottom line, how do we look at businesses where they have not only about people, but they also have profit and planet um, and passion? So four Ps. But that would be my, my biggest thing about the economy. I mean, it's interesting, you live in America, and America says, I said to someone last night, America says, we're number one, we're the best in the world. The only thing they're number one at is spending on defense, number one with prison inmates. <laughs> you know, education is way down the line. Economy is, is, is failing. So I think we have to reinvent the system. I think micro-economies, um, you know, I think the idea of bartering and trading, the maker community, and, and I think you're going to start to see that changing. There's definitely that changing now, that idea of, um, you know, micro-economies. So that, that's my limited knowledge. So. <laughs> Now I'm in trouble. You can ask me a maths question or something. <laughs> no, I just, um, um, I couldn't attend the opening. It happens to me for a third time. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much for coming all the way from LA to share the plastic story and to, of course, uh, take the story of Karin Dong going forward. I think it's a fantastic story. And uh, with the help of networking and meeting more people, we can. As you say, take the old learning, and sometimes we don't need to do new learning, just uh, look at the old. Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you.